Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. Today's episode we're going to have a look at the exam PL400. If you haven't already do check out my other videos um, on all the other certifications that Microsoft offers as well. Now this application, um, this exam even, is called the Microsoft Power Platform Developer Exam and it gives us a certification um, in order once that exam is done and essentially we can use Microsoft Learn uh, to do quite a bit of learning on there so make sure you check that out and we also have a uh, measure up that I used to revise for this exam with some great uh, practice questions on there. Now I'm just going to run through uh, around five topics or so and this is just to give a flavour of what is on the exam. It is not a comprehensive uh, guide to everything that is on the exam, you can actually find that on Learn. But hopefully for those people that are revising you come across this video and it just really gets you in gear and teaches you a few things um, that are necessary. So one of the topics that uh, came up when I was revising was something called durable functions. So these are basically an extension of um, Azure functions which you should also know about but to keep it quite simple, what it basically does is it lets you think about the state that your business logic may be in. So a function is something that we do um, in serverless computing. However, this durable function is particularly about the different state and checkpoints that your logic may have in this, in this business logic. So it's just an extension. The second one here um, fetch XML. So this comes up as something that you need to know in this exam. And fetch XML is basically a query language that is used to query for Microsoft Dataverse. So as an example, you might be using it when building a Microsoft portal. And in portal, you might use fetch XML in some of your page uh, snippets and your page uh, web templates. So that's something uh, worth knowing about. It, you know, it gives us more flexibility than the OData connectors that we would otherwise be using. So do make sure that you've done some revision on that topic. Going back a step. Um, make sure you revise the Microsoft Power Platform build tools for Azure DevOps. So this is essentially an extension in Azure DevOps, which allows us to to essentially build and uh, deploy solutions between environments, among other things. And it's something that may come up on this exam. So there's a, a bit of a page here, which basically gives you a bit of an overview of what you can do. So you could have the initial build pipeline run. You could put that data into source control. You can import the solution. You can then run solution checker. You can export the solution, and then you can pack and actually export the solution either as managed or in manage. So I urge you to, to go in and actually practice those as well so that you have an idea of how they work. It's also worth looking into the different uh, languages that portals can use. And one of those is uh, Liquid. So it's an open source uh, language. So using that, you can, uh, for example, if I give you an example is read the page name and actually display that or read the person who is logged in and read that and it essentially gives you a far more flexibility and ability to to essentially change the html that may be on the page and it was uh, originally created by uh, shopify and is now used in portals for microsoft and the the last one here is do understand your different types of authentication so I put in here MSAL, so it's worth knowing that that stands for the Microsoft Authentication Library. And this essentially allows uh, developers to acquire tokens to access uh, different web APIs. Um, so for example, if you want to access Microsoft uh, Graph, you'd actually need to uh, get a MSAL, so essentially a, a token in order to be able to do that. And it also supports other applications such as uh, .NET, JavaScript, Java, Python, Android and iOS. So I hope you enjoyed that. I wish you all the best for the, for the exam and let me know what you think. Thank you.